Something that I've been noticing this year when I've been out and about is the way the farmers are cutting the hedges back. Look at this. Well, not just it's not even just the hedges; it's the trees, and you can see it all the way along. It goes everywhere. It's all it's, it's just everywhere. And what they're doing is he's he's driving along on his tractor, and he's just uh, he's just eviscerating all the branches on the trees. Now, normally they'd cut the hedges back; that would be one thing, but they're cutting right to the bone. Of, I mean, there's some of the trees you can see here. Yeah, some of them are just getting mangled to pieces. There's there's nothing left of it at all. Um, the 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 the, like the structure of the trees has just been torn to bits and twisted and just wrecked. And and I think like, isn't it isn't it a sort of funny mentality to have? Like what like well, what what does that say about the way the farmers are thinking here? I mean, the first thing is, is you're not going to get any birds any birds nesting in this. Because we're getting the spring coming in, um, and and it's going to be there's like there's almost nothing for leaves. There's nothing left for like foliage to grow on, and for the birds to do uh, nest inside of that. It's there's there's it's just utterly destroyed, and it's going to take years for these branches to grow back. So the the birds are going to not going to have anywhere to, uh, to to nest. And and I just and and it looks just it just looks repulsive. It looks it looks. It looks like some maniacs just torn the shit out of all of these trees, and I mean, what he's thinking, I think, is because if he if he cuts it really back to the bone like this, then it's it's kind of like well, that's it done for a for a few years or something. He doesn't have to bother his horse with it, even though like uh, the meat has back off the the path. Um, it it doesn't like it it just doesn't have to be done at all. But what it is is just purely a, a, a kind of. A utilitarian kind of look at it so the, the farm are supposed to be like in touch with the land and uh, what's happened is that he's, he's just adopted this kind of mechanistic mass production kind of mindset so that it, when he when he comes to cut the trees back I, I mean I think in the past there have there'd be a bit more kind of thought to uh, like how that actually looks on the land how, how that actually how how people are going to view that? How how does that affect the landscape? If you you've just got mile after mile, and it is mile after mile, of like wrecked hedgerows or hedgerows where it's just down to a stump because it, like it'll save you in the long run. It's more efficient. So it it's like this. What you've what you've got is like the way that they're managing the land is just a matter of pure kind of uh, efficiency like like a production line and the result of that is that like you can just see there's 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 just wrecked trees all over the place i've actually seen worse than this some of them are just lying flat on the floor and th it's kind of related to something else which i've noticed this year which isn't here it's uh, I, I might come across an example later but basically um all of, we've had a lot of wind like this year we've had a hell of a, a lot of storms this this winter in the northeast and um what what's happened is that there's just like whole plantations of trees have come down like they, they so i mean you've got the bigger ones that it would be normal that some of the big old ones came down in the strong winds but something's different happened um, it, it, to a lot of these places in the northeast, and you've got whole plantations of, of young trees which have been planted, and they've all, they've all come down like dominoes by the roots as well. They've just toppled uh, straight out of the top of the soil. So what's been happening in the northeast is that they've uh, it's probably going on everywhere in the country. But what they've been doing is planting trees uh, to fill quarters. And it's all to do with the green agenda and climate change and all of this and and what they've been doing is looking for land another thing is like they they it, it is like kind of creating nature parks all over the place for people to go walking which isn't such of a bad thing it's it's kind of a little bit sort of suburban for me but you know it's a kind of fake uh countryside but all right i'm not going to moan about that it's, it's all right in theory i don't mind it but what so what they've been doing is that you've got bureaucrats in the council and elsewhere 
Um, and and what they, what they've been doing is trying. They've got quotas to fill, so they want to have so many trees planted, and those trees are going to have to reduce so much carbon within the next ten to fifteen years. And what they've been doing is is kind of looking for the fastest growing trees that they can get because then they've got targets you know and it, it's all based on modeling and it's all based on um like quotas and percentages of how much carbon can be reduced by this year and all of that kind of thing and the, the problem is they've, they've so they've selected these trees and they've brought them in mainly from California. They're called like Sitka things. Are these are these conifers, these fast growing conifers? Because from that, like from the perspective of just pure efficiency, they'll grow really quickly and um they they'll they'll meet their targets. So that's that's kind of what they've been doing. That that's what explains it. But the problem is where they've been planting them is mainly well there's a lot a lot that <laughs> they, they, they've been planting them on um like these nature reserves they've made on the old pits so you've got like uh say a, a, a two two or three feet of topsoil and then they are uh then then the roots are supposed to like sink down and what's happened is that under the topsoil there's nothing there but slate from the like slag from the pits from it's it's basically a big mound which used which are everywhere in the northeast. You had these huge mounds of slag, um, which came up from the pit. Because you, when when you brought stuff up from the pit, you'd only have a little bit of coal. You'd be you'd end up with a lot more slate and, and crap uh, around the coal. So we ended up with these huge mounds all over the northeast, which were uh, like basically just waste from the from the pits. So then the question came, well, what do we do with them? So they ended up turning them into nature parks. And what they did was put like two feet of topsoil across the top. And then they decided, well, this will be a great place and we can bind the soil together and we'll stick all of these fast growing trees on the top of them. And then um, you know, it'll be like we'll have new forests. What was once pit land will basically be like a new forest land. So what's ended up happening is that all of these these bureaucrats have uh, brought in a load of foreign trees and uh, planted them, uh, you know, just just to make up the numbers because of efficiency sake. They've brought in all of these foreign foreign trees against the, our will, <laughs> and you couldn't make it up. And uh, the trees couldn't get their roots into the soil properly, and a good dose of wind has just blown them all down. Uh, because at the end of the day, I suppose on their spreadsheets and on their computer modeling, like a tree is a tree is a tree. You can shift all of these things around and it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Why not? Why not bring all of these trees in from the sunny, the sunny shores of California and plant them on pits in the northeast? which are facing like northeast winds in winter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter a tree is a tree well there it doesn't matter in the world it comes from it doesn't matter what the climate is it doesn't matter how it looks there it doesn't matter all of these things are just interchangeable ciphers i mean you couldn't really you couldn't really it's just like such a perfect example of what's wrong with globalization this this uh, because obviously that can get us the the, the story of the trees here where the, a, a tree is, all trees are interchangeable and they can all be planted everywhere for, for the sake to, to meet a quota on a model in some abstract like, data sheet thing on a computer or whatever. Like, it, you, you can see that that could take us into some funny territory there because the same principle applies to some other issues that we've got. But at the end of the day, it's, it's how detached these people can be. How, on the one hand, they can be like completely overloaded with information and data on absolute everything but then miss like such basic principles like miss something deeper it's the same with the farmer the way he's cut back that hedge it's it's on the one hand it's like efficiency data and information and um, the industrialization it, it, it leads to it does lead to a kind of you know it, it does lead to this it does lead to this idea that you, everything is just a standardized product and everything can be switched around and then like sooner or later um hard reality is gonna snap unfortunately for the cutback hedges it's gonna be the birds who are gonna die this year and can't get nested anywhere um and unfortunately for the the trees it uh it just means that we've now got like huge swathes of plantations of forests rewilding they called it 
which are just useless, which, which, which are just going to come down. They've come down by the thousands. I sh I've come on the wrong walk to show you that. Maybe I can find some pictures on the internet or something to, to explain what I'm saying. But it's a huge thing. And, and as I speak, they, they've rewilded and replanted huge areas across the Cheviots. And now they know that um, they'll all be coming down. The reason why it didn't happen beforehand was because they've, they only now, they, these trees are top heavy. Um, so so they, their roots can't get under the ground, but then like above the ground, they're, because of the slate to be honest, but then above the ground they're, they're top heavy and so they go over. They've also been planted, again like they're also too densely packed together so that when one goes down they all go down. So we see this happening more and more. Just look at, just look back at the, the last couple of years. There's, there's the real world, like reality of mud and uh, trees that need roots and tree things that belong in places and things that don't belong in places um, and then you've got like this kind of the world as data and information and what we see more and more whether it's the way the the, the kind of you know that kind of ugly way the farmer just hacked all those hedges to bits all the way they've gone around uh, reforesting parts of England and lots of lots of other issues it's like this this kind of abstract uh, information thing imposing itself on on like reality and you see the consequences of it more and more every day see you later folks <laughs>